Yo, what's up, you Scandinavian socks? Uh, before we get into this video on the Turbo Blounds, I just want to let you know, if you didn't know, I do stream live on Twitch every Monday to Friday, starting up between 12 and 1 p.m. Eastern time. And on Wednesdays, I'm gonna be bringing back my decks out of Discord streams, where I play decks that you guys submit in my Discord on the decks submission channel, where you can just put a PTCGO import code. I'm gonna be playing decks out of there every Wednesday. So if you ever want to see me play any deck specifically, expanded or standard you can go ahead and submit the deck in that channel on the discord which you can find a link for in the description below every wednesday starting up around between 12 and 1 p.m eastern time quickly wanted to let you guys know about that before we get into today's video which is on the turbo blounds and this is a list that i've been running for just being as aggressive as possible with blacephalon we got our four welder and cynthia for our draw support uh four acrobike are back in the deck which has been in and out of blounds builds um quite a bit over, you know, its lifetime. Uh, I've currently got them in there. We got two Dedenne. We don't have Mew. We don't have Reset Stamp. We don't have Custom Catcher. We plan to try and get ahead in the prize exchange and then just stay ahead, especially with all these big tag team decks running around. It's really not that difficult to pull off. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say on the list. Um, it's just all about being aggressive, hitting hard and fast, and just keeping it going throughout the whole game. I uh, got the heavy stadium count in the Heat Factory and Ultra Spaces. Keep our opponent's stadiums out of play. Uh, find our Ultra Beasts, uh, specifically keep Power Plant out of play so we can consistently use the Dedenne whenever we want to. And then this guy at the end of the game is basically just a bigger Blacephalon. Um, so they can go one shot Blacephalon, one shot Blacephalon, and then our third Blacephalon all of a sudden has 270 HP, which can sometimes be too much for our opponents to handle. So that's why he's in there. All right, I think that's all I got to say on the list. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. Into our first game here. Got the Blacephalon start. Ultra Space, Poipal, Acrobike, Cynthia, Double Fire. So it doesn't get much better than this for a uh, starting hand. Yeah, this is about as uh, good as it usually gets. We'll see where it goes from here. Our opponent is playing Greens, Blounds, it looks like. So I think that definitely gives us an advantage overall. Gonna start with the Acrobike here. Gonna take the Welder. I think we might just go ahead and use Welder here. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to just go ahead and Welder here to our active and just start getting aggressive. That's a lot of fire. That's more fire than we wanted to see. Gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Poipal here. Yeah, it looks like the green blounds from our opponent. They will be able to Flare Starter on their first turn, which actually is pretty good. Um, not as good as that Welder, but uh, still pretty good. We do have one B-String in hand. If we top decked another Welder, we would maybe just hold the hand, put a bunch of fire energy in play, because we do have a B-String in it, uh, which is pretty good. Um, but we're definitely gonna use the Mind Blown next turn, pop this Volcanion, and then just try and draw be aggressive about drawing prizes every turn from there. We did give our opponent the ultra space, but I think it's definitely worth it to get ourselves um, that Poipal out and going. There's the Poke Gear. They're gonna be looking for a greens here, I'm sure. Looks like that was a whiff. That's a big whiff. Uh, they need some kind of support to turn one, whether it be greens or the welder, and there is the greens. So I'd imagine they're gonna go ahead and grab themselves either welder or just double B-string, or they could grab like welder plus another greens, or greens plus a B-string. Um, oh, they can't use B-Strings yet. That's right. They can't use B-Strings yet. For some reason, I thought they could use B-Strings right now. They can't. Um, or next turn. Not right now. Of course, they can't use it right now. Going into next turn, I thought they would already be able to use it. But no, I'll only be drawing the one prize on the Volcano knockout. So they won't be able to use B-String until I knock out one of those Blacephalons. So they're still a little ways away from using the B-Strings. So we still got some time to... Uh, to do that there's a hearth and a welder i don't mind the hearth coming into play actually um, i would like the ultra space to stick around but hearth is actually pretty good for us because we do play four welders of our own so i don't really mind it too much so yeah they're going for the welder next turn um, and then probably looking for a greens after that to go ahead and oh they'll be able to knock us out us out next turn actually actually is a little bit scary um yeah so if we did get a welder here i think we would just go with the welder play we'll see what we end up getting or drawing into um two ultra space gone now but yeah like i said i don't really mind the welder being in play too much myself there's an aganadel that's fine uh i could hearth now but i think i'd prefer to hearth after we draw some cards so i think i'm just gonna start with the cynthia and we'll see what we get yeah so we can go ahead and hearth away a fire to get two fires yeah like i said i don't really mind it too much there's two welders for us already in the hand and we can go ahead and throw down a Cephalon. So we can go knock out this, knock out Cephalon, knock out Cephalon, and then burst GX to close out the game. I'm going to go ahead and charging up here. Almost forgot to do that. Uh, yeah, get that charging up off. 
bench able to self-up. We do have the Wellers in hand, so we don't actually have to leave any energy on our active here. We could just discard like this to take this knockout. Yeah, go with that mind blown here. Get rid of this Volcanion. Now we can get through two Blacephalons, and then we can burst GX to close it out. That's our game. That's gonna be our game plan. Um, and yeah, this, I mean, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking this. This is looking pretty good. We'll see where it goes. It's possible um, our opponent can catch up uh, once we give them Beast Rings. We'll see. Uh, I would imagine they're going to go ahead and uh, knock us out with Mind Blown. Wouldn't be surprised if they did anyways. Um, do we actually want to go into the Mew and Mewtwo next turn? They're going to knock us out. We're going to knock them out. They're going to knock us out. And they'll be at two prizes. That's when we want to use the Mew and Mewtwo. No, we want to hold off on the Mew and Mewtwo. Um, for another turn. We could look to use Turning Point plus Beast Energy as well to take a knockout on a Blacephalon. Um, that's also a, a potential possibility. Um, not too worried about trying to play into that yet. Uh, we'd maybe even try and Turning Point this. If they try and use this on the next turn, we'd probably try and Turning Point that. Definitely want to evolve this guy up, that's for sure. Ooh, they took away our, what's called, and reset stamp us. Oh no, this could get really bad, really fast. All right, there's Cherish Ball, there's Treasure, there's the Dede. All right, we should be good. Uh, potential to get really bad there, but uh, looks like we should be fine. Not a whole ton of fire in the discard pile, so I'm probably gonna play for an Aganadel GX here on this Poipool instead. Um, kinda wanna grab the Mew and Mewtwo and put that in play though. It's very unlikely they'll be able to get enough energy in play to knock out the Mew and Mewtwo as well as bring it up. So I kinda wanna get him in play as well. Uh, but I guess it is slightly risky because they could potentially knock it out. Um, there's another Blacephalon. Uh, let's start with the Beast Ring here. Mew and Mewtwo is prize. Alright, so that's not even an option unless we were to draw him out of the prizes and then Welder to him on the following turn. So yeah, this game is going by super fast. Two there. Gonna go ahead and treasure away a fire. Get ourselves a Poipol. And then I will Cherish Ball get ourselves that Naganadel GX here. Get him into play. Don't have a ton of Ultra Beasts left to discard, but we do have a couple that we could potentially get rid of, so still want that option. Um, Zephalon comes down, and then, yeah, Dead Egg Change. Looking for another Beast Ring, potentially a Welder. We got the Welder, but no energy. Oh, that's terrible. Wait, we still have the Ultra Conversion that we can do. We can also throw this Ultra Space in play and thin out one more card of our deck before we go in with that. Grab ourselves a Poipool, I think, yeah, and then we can go ahead and Ultra Conversion away. One of these charging ups. Try and find some energy. Even just one energy for the Welder would be fine. We have a ton of energy left, too. This should definitely find us an energy. Found us an Acrobike. Hopefully that finds us an energy. There we go. A little late. We definitely want to get the energy attachment for turn as well, so I'm going to Welder before we use these other Beast Rings here. One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Uh, now we're going to use the Beast Rings. Beast Energy is also prized, so... A whole bunch of stuff is going not ideally for us so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use another B string here. Let's see, there's two welders left in the deck, which we definitely want potential access to to get the knockout with potentially the Mew and Mewtwo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw these here, I think. Um, I'm not gonna attach for turn though, because we might want to welder both those onto a Mew and Mewtwo. One, two, three, four, I think is how I want to discard here. Um, Seems good enough to me. Mind blown. Knock out the Blacephalon. And then, yeah, it's going to come down to this turn for our opponent. This is pretty much what the whole game is going to come down to. Blacephalon mirrors when Bursting Burn doesn't get involved, which it did not get involved at all this game. Usually super quick, super aggressive. Oh, the Beast Energy and the Mew and Mewtwo stay in the prizes. Ugh, I'm not going to lie. If I had to guess, I think we're going to lose this one. Um, I would imagine they can get quite a bit of energy in play. Maybe... Maybe we can squeak this one out, but uh, yeah, if I had to guess, I think our opponent has this one almost certainly. I mean, we'll stick around through it, but uh, yeah, if I had to guess, I would say our opponent's got this one. Uh, just because we also gave him the Ultra Space to get another Blacephalon into play. Um, I guess I could have maybe avoided doing that, um, giving them the Ultra Space. That way they couldn't find another Blacephalon for free. Yeah, I guess I could have held off on that. Uh, having given them that, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely thinking our opponent's going to be able to close this one out here. I mean... Like I said, we'll play out the last couple turns, but without the beast energy to to hit, knock out this guy with turning point or the Mew and Mewtwo to make a bigger threat um, for them to deal with on our turn, I don't think we're going to quite be able to pull it off. There was actually a custom catcher from our opponent, um, so they're almost ensuring that the turning point thing won't happen, unless they're going to have to chase something else here. So they're going after this Blacephalon instead. Uh, now I'm curious as to if they'll have enough energy on the following turn. 
I guess we'll find out shortly. There's another beast ring to that one. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have given him the ultra space. Definitely a mistake on my part. Yeah, here we go. Four energy, discard, knock out. Uh, if we did have the, what's it called here? The beast energy would be in a great spot. They definitely shouldn't have used the custom catchers there, just in case I had the beast energy follow up here. Um, but unfortunately, the beast energy is prized. So not going to be able to do that turning point play. Um, it looks like they probably have a welder in him with the way they discarded their energy. Um, so yeah, unfortunate. Uh, shouldn't have given him the ultra space. Definitely uh, a misplay on my part. Let's see what's left in here. Yeah, no beast energy, no Mew and Mewtwo. If the Mew, if we had the Mew and Mewtwo, I think we would also be really close to being able to pull this one off. Uh, we could just send it up and make it really difficult for our opponent to take the knockout. They would need six energy, and they only have one, two, four in play. So um, I think we would have been able to get the dub as well if we just had that Mew and Mewtwo. But Mew and Mewtwo and the beast energy prized, putting us in a tough spot. All right, we're just gonna try and uh, set ourselves up for as best as possible, just in case our opponent does not um, is just unable to take the uh, the knockout here. It's definitely possible. Um, I think I'm just gonna hold the hand. I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna go with an ultra conversion here. Get rid of the Naganadel. Let's draw some more cards. Um, keep everything, I think. Yeah, and then we're gonna go with that mind blown. We're just gonna discard the four off the bench. So if they're only out to the situation is bursting burn. Um, we can hard retreat our active into this one and then burst GX. And if they bring up anything else, we can also burst GX. I guess the only thing would be is if they brought up this one and bursting burned it, but there's an energy to pull off the welder play. There's the beast energy. That means our last prize is the Mew and Mewtwo. And I think we definitely would have won this one if we had access to the Mew and Mewtwo. I think we also would have won if we just had the beast energy as well. Like we could have seen almost our whole deck there. Um, I kind of played it to not do that. Um, and we would have been able to find the beast energy. We could have turning point knocked out. Blacephalon. So a couple things going wrong in this one. I also gave them the Ultra Space. So that was bad on my part for sure. They still might have been able to pull it out even if I hadn't given them Ultra Space, but at least force them to find that Blacephalon instead of me just giving it to them. Um, I guess they would have got a Cherish Ball instead of the Custom Catcher off the greens there. So they would have had it. And yeah, nothing we can do about that one. The prizes were just not in our favor. We're going to take an L here in this first one. The one here, unfortunately, we're opening up with the Mew and Mewtwo. Um, that's not ideal. Our opponent is also opening up with the Mew and Mewtwo. So we can actually get a turn one knockout on our opponent's Mew and Mewtwo with Welder Attach, Mind Blown, uh, which is kind of cute. Uh, definitely not in the cards for the current hand, um, but possible to pull off here. Um, we need to see our opponent put down like a hearth or something for us. Um, there goes a hearth, so they're avoiding putting the hearth in play in play which kind of makes sense uh, definitely makes sense um, especially when you're lined up against another Mew and Mewtwo you don't really want to give them any ounce possible there's a Viridian Forest though so I'm curious I mean not quite as powerful as a hearth but still giving us an option here by giving us a Viridian Forest so now if we top deck a fire we're definitely gonna go for the play uh, and see if we can pull it off there's the welder yeah, i'm kind of like if they're not going to give us well i mean i guess it kind of makes a little bit of sense uh but yeah definitely we're definitely going to go for the play here if we can top deck a oh but there's a cherish ball so who knows they might be grabbing themselves that uh jirachi here definitely shutting down that potential of that play from us definitely not going to go for that play anymore if they do grab themselves that jirachi there is the jirachi all right so it's going to probably be cherish ball for dedene from us here um losing a lot of good potentially good cards here in the welders and then again, Adele, uh, we do have, we could Welder uh, just for one fire to a Bench Blacephalon. I guess that wouldn't be terrible. Um, grabbing, using the Viridian Forest. Um, that is a play we could actually make here, which wouldn't be awful. Um, so we could actually make that play happen, especially now that we get the Ultra Space. It definitely becomes a little bit better. I think I am going to go for that. So I think we're going to Viridian Forest and get rid of, we also get to keep the Beast Energy, which is kind of cool. Um... The Viridian Forest would have to get rid of the Ganondale if I want to get a Poipo off this, so I think that's what we have to do here. Uh, not ideal, but it's not too bad. The Ganondale GX is prized. All right. Um, we can then Cherish Ball for the uh, Blacephalon GX, and then we will Welder to him. We get to keep a Beast Ring in hand as well, and then potentially just build up on the hand more with the Welder on the next turn. So this really isn't too bad of a line of play. There's three Poipo. We'll now Ultra Space into a, another Poipo. And then I think attach the beast energy and just uh, pass over to our opponent. No need to play the acrobike this turn, I don't think. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pass over to our opponent, see what they've got on this turn. They can definitely knock us out. 
Uh, that is for sure. We can definitely get knocked out this turn, and there's really nothing we can do about it. We'll see if they've got it like that, though. On this coming up turn, they can hit us with Reshizar. Yeah, they have a couple different ways to knock us out. Uh, down two Welder, though, um, is a big deal. So yeah, attach Reshizar knockout is a potential play. They can also knock us out with... Um, the new Dragonite GX. Oh no, we have the 270, right? This is not a Blacephalon Interactive. I was like, yeah, so they could knock us out like that, but this is actually not a Blacephalon. For some reason, I was thinking this was a Blacephalon Interactive. It's not. So they actually need something like the Sky Judgment or the GX attack from uh, Reshizard here. Uh, there's another Dedenne use from our opponent. Yeah, they're already down to Welder, so they would need a Welder use here to get the knockout here. Um, and if not, I mean, they're not really risking anything, I guess, if nothing happens. Uh, I guess I could have Weldered actually to our... I should have Weldered to our active and then hit them with the Bursting Burn. I don't know what I was thinking there. I should have definitely welded the one fire to the active and Bursting Burned this Mewtwo. That sets us up for way potentially bigger plays on this turn. Not sure what I was thinking, especially now that they've given us this giant hearth. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there at all, man. Completely forgot Bursting Burn was an attack. Um, yeah, I was a little lost on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Completely, completely forgot about Bursting Burn. Uh, bursting Burn would have been super good here against our opponents, uh, Mew and Mewtwo, and given us a lot of potential options uh, going into this turn we're still in a fine spot but uh yeah definitely would have been a better play um just kind of forgot it as it was an option man two big misplays uh back to back in these games so far for me giving my opponent the ultra space and then not realizing bursting burn was an attack uh, it's okay i think we're gonna recover fine in this one for sure uh even if they knock us out i think we're gonna be in a fine spot um they're not quite able to knock us out and they gave us the giant hearth which is a huge deal giving us that giant hearth because now we can easily pull off this welder in our hand and uh get a ton of fire energy in play um, especially when they don't knock us out if we're able to get the first knockout oh there's the welder though never mind they're probably gonna end up with the first knockout here which is still once again fine though because we do have the blacephalon with the v-string and we have the welder and the Ultra Space. Oh no, they have the resetting whole Marsh Shadow to bump the stadium. So rude, man. So rude. All right, so Bursting Burn would have ended up being pretty good here, forcing our opponent through the confusion. Also, 20 less damage, or 20 damage on this thing means that's one less fire energy we have to discard. We do have the beast energy, so it's not too drastic, but uh, definitely would have been ideal to have one less, uh, one less potential energy to have to get. All right, here we go. Sending up the Blacephalon. Feeling pretty bad about that one. Another B string top deck. Top deck is pretty good though. So we're gonna start with these B strings. Another B string. Then we'll go into the acro bike. Ideally, don't want to welder this turn. I would much rather Cynthia or something. Um, but there's a fire energy, and yeah, we're gonna discard the Blacephalon. Um, no fire in the discard yet. Um, I might ultra space for another Blacephalon here. I think I will. Because it's possible we go back-to-back -back welders to get enough fire on this guy. Get him attacking. But if I guess I get back-to-back -back welders, I wouldn't need to do it anyways. Eh, that's fine. Two, three. Okay. We have an attach for turn. And then we've got the mine blown for one. Or one, two, three, four, and five. There's the concession from our opponent. They're just going to scoop. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I made. Blacephalon is a little bit too powerful, it seems, and we take another dub here in this one. They were only they were only down to one welder, and it was maybe prize, so they didn't have any follow-up. And even if they did, we could still potentially get the last knockout with the last Blacephalon uh, on that Mewtwo if we found one more welder, plus like a Dedede play. But uh, yeah, we'll take it. Another one. Blacephalon start. Awesome. Poipul on the bench. Also fine. Looks like it's going to be a welder for our turn one supporter, which is not ideal. Would prefer a Cynthia probably usually, but it'll have to do. We're up against... The slow duck deck. Oh no! All right. Well, uh, it's good to have an aggressive start like this when we're up against the water boys. This is actually this matchup actually might just be favored. I may be panicking for nothing here. Uh, this actually might just be a good matchup. Um, maybe just panicking just a bit for nothing here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this here as our attachment for turn, and then pass over to our opponent. There's nothing they can do to us on the first turn here. We're set up super well to take this first knockout on this first uh, slow duck. And then their recovery is going to be a little bit... Yeah, I think this matchup might just be good, actually. I panicked a little bit initially, but now that I'm looking at it and kind of thinking through how it works, um, seems pretty good. If they can ever set up a Lapras to attack us, that would be annoying, but that's about the only thing that would ever be annoying. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I kind of like this matchup, actually, the more I'm thinking about it. There's a Coach Trainer for four. And then I assume... Oh, Energy Spinner as well. That's pretty good there. Energy Spinner for three. And then after that, I assume it'll be a pass over to us. And we're definitely going to knock this thing out. We're currently one energy away, but I'm confident 
we're going to be able to find an energy on our turn to deal with this uh, slow duck here. And then only one more away before the game's over. It's only five energy each, not even, you know, the big uh, six energy we need each time. Just five energy, two times in a row. Should be a clean dub here for the Blacephalon. We'll see if our opponent has anything else besides that coach trainer. I can't even think of anything else they could potentially have. But they maybe got something else. I'll go ahead and give them their time. Let them think through this one real fast. Got it. Nothing. Something. Everything. They're taking their time on this one. Something, nothing, everything. Got it. What's going on? All right. Custom catcher. Gonna be two. All right, so now we need two Naganadels in an attachment for turn. So I guess they're just trying to slow us down a bit. This makes sense. I guess they were kind of thinking through that there. Um, but yeah, the play makes sense. The play makes sense. Uh, I'm going to attach the active Cynthia. Uh, but yeah, we, knew, we do still just need one Naganadel. There he is. Put him down. Um, thinking about acro biking, I don't really need to, but I guess if I got like a Blacephalon or something, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, Ultra Space for Blacephalon is actually pretty cool here, because um, then I don't have to do what's it called in winter. I don't have to retreat off one of these Naganadels, which means I need like one less energy overall in play, um, which is that little bit better. May as well make it that little bit better. All right, there we go. And retreat. And mind blown. I need to get rid of all five energy here to get the knockout. Going to get ourselves three prize cards. Um, and then we need another five energy to knock out the next one. We already have one in our discard pile, so we really only need four energy. Um, there's a Dedenne. That's going to help us draw a ton of cards. There's a treasure, not gonna be quite as useful, but can help us thin out the deck. If we top deck a fire, we're definitely gonna go for the welder on the active. I kinda maybe just wanna go for the welder anyways into the Dedenne draw, uh, use ultra space and treasure to thin out our deck as well. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, we could get reset stamped here. And in that case, uh, we're gonna need to put a lot more stuff together to get the knockout, but I still think very doable. Not very, not really too hard at all. So yeah, our ideal top deck here is either a beast ring, I guess, or just a fire energy. Just a basic fire here would be a great top deck to get that welder for two off. Uh, gonna be the Missy's favor from our opponent. So not a great follow-up it looks like from our opponent here. Uh, probably gonna get just enough to knock us out. Uh, no Lapras set up yet at all from our opponent. So this is looking real good. There's Surge, but they didn't get the Surge combo this turn. So yeah, this one's looking real good for us. We'll see if they have anything else to back this uh, Back the slow poke up. I mean, if we knock it out, we do win anyway, so they don't need anything this turn, I guess. Potentially retreating into another one next turn. If we don't get the one shot on this, I mean, we would just go for the bursting burn, but yeah, we're definitely gonna try and clean this guy up this turn. We'll see, it looks like, yep, that's gonna be all it is from our opponent, just the uh, ditch and splash for the knockout on the Blacephalon. And yeah, here we go. Blacephalon gonna make his way to the active here. And uh, gonna try and get the one shot here. That's an ultra space. Not quite what we we're looking for, but that's fine. I think I might just want to grab another Blacephalon to put in play here. Um, and then I will treasure for a Poiple um, before we do anything else. And I think I will just go for the Welder to the active. Um, give ourselves a little bit better odds of doing everything. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for the Welder and then we'll look to the Dene the whole hand away after that. One, two, three. There is one B string. Go ahead, throw it on the bench, Blacephalon. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to use the Mew and Mewtwo this game, but that's fine. Dead a change. Get rid of those five cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, currently no B string. Actually, we have an attached return, have we? So I think that actually means we have the game. I definitely want to cherish ball for this. Hold up, I think I maybe got a little bit ahead of myself. We haven't charging up yet. There's the charging up. Attach active. That's five energy. All right, yeah, I got a little bit ahead of myself. We had needed way less than I thought we did. I thought we needed way more for this turn, uh, but not quite. There's the mind blown for five, knocking out the Slowpoke and Psyduck. 250, two quick KOs on the Slowpokes and Psyducks, and that's gonna do it for this one, guys. The Turbo Blounds. I think this is pretty much the fastest way to play the deck. Um, and the Welder, the four Welder, I feel like might just be better. Than, I had the Lilies in here initially, but I feel like the four Welder might just be the better way to go. Um, 
really can be a little bit awkward past turn one, but like even using welders for one extra energy in play can be a big difference maker. And then when it's in those like weird stalemate scenarios where they haven't quite activated B string, but they're not ahead on the prize trade, so you're both just kind of waiting, uh, welder definitely becomes better than Lily for sure. So uh, yeah, been liking this list just for going fast. There's no cute text in it. There's no custom catchers. Uh, we don't have even have a reset stamp or anything like that. You just go fast, keep hitting their active really hard. We can use it again at LGX to potentially snipe around stuff um, in the late game. Maybe pick up a knockout onto Dene. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, links in the description for all that fun stuff. Deck list down there as well. Check that out. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.